Hey, hey, everybody. So glad to be back. Happy holidays to you. We have four weeks until we get to Christmas, huh? I thought it'd be nice to focus a little bit on the family today. As I'm so excited to be back with all of you. And I consider you all to be my family. We got a nice show lined up today. I even have a special virtual guest. I think you guys are going to be knocked out by this. So welcome to the Tony Monaco Show. Jacqueline Anderson, Danny Gibbs. How's it going? Happy holidays. Danny Gable, sorry. <laughs> Hey, hey, John. I'm so happy, actually, just to see you already here. Hey, Neil. Good evening, William. Hey, hello, Jocelyn. everything in London. Melissa. Hey, Dan. 
Happy holidays. Hugs to you. Let's do a professional studio fade. Yeah. Hey, Juke. Happy holidays, brother. Seems like just yesterday we were hanging out together in Denver. How's everything going, brother? Yeah. Hey, good evening, everybody. It's wonderful to be back online. I've missed you so much. I'm sorry. I had to take a little break. Did a lot of broadcasting during the pandemic. Then I started to miss it. And I missed all of you. And I figured I got to start again. Because I just missed seeing everybody. And uh, it's been uh, too long. So welcome back. And thanks for coming back into my studio. Where I've got a lot of treats for you today. I've been thinking a lot about this show. Some of you know that I just recorded a new project, and it'll be re being released in March, and it's called Over and Over Again. And uh, I've got some uh, play-along tracks already set up because I had a great drummer and a great guitarist on this project uh, that uh, I used from Columbus, Reggie Jackson and Zach Jones on guitar. But you guys remember my last record I put out? It was called Four Brothers, where I featured three great Columbus musicians, Willie Barthel and Kevin Turner on guitar and Eddie Baird on sax. I think I'm going to start the show tonight with Four Brothers. I think you'll enjoy that. It's a blast from the past, and uh, let's do it, okay? Here we go. I'm going to bring in the band. Here they come. Thank you. 
That's called Four Brothers. It's a song that I wrote for my last release called Four Brothers, where I featured Eddie Baird on sax, the great up and coming and now out and about Willie Barthel, and my good old friend Kevin Turner on guitar. And we really had a good time. So you're listening to play along tracks that I prepared for our show where I just removed the organ. And just I can do it live for you. So that's kind of cool, isn't it? It's kind of fun to be able to do that. Wow. Wow, God bless you all. I, you don't know how happy I am. And I am I started to do this also for a second reason. Is you all know that I'm really into uh, charity work. Especially around Christmas time. I like to help families as much as I, I can. Because it's all about family. And today's show... If you noticed in the intro, I put the Christmas story had four themes. And this week we're going to look at the theme of family, how important family are. And you know, they don't have to be your blood relatives to be family. Family are people that support you, give you kindness and love, and also give you that tough love when it's needed. So today we're focusing on family. And uh, I'm really happy that you are my family so god bless you all by the way want to take you real quick to my website to show you how you can help support my newest project that's coming out called over and over and it starts uh the release is in march i'm very excited about it i think this is my best project because two reasons one is i wrote all the songs and you know for me this is a brave move for me to release a record where I'm not doing some covers and some originals. By the way, that last song, Four Brothers, is one of mine. And I like to write music. And you can't decide when it's going to happen. It just comes to you, you know. So uh, I write music when it comes. This new project called Over and Over has uh, seven new original songs. And I'll play them throughout the shows. And the second reason why I'm... uh, starting to broadcast now is I want to get my broadcast chops up because on Christmas Eve I do the big fundraiser for St. Jude Hospital so I want to just remind you all that that's coming this is when I bring many guests to uh, watch uh, and play and perform for you all so that you can donate and help me help families So that when their children are being treated, they don't have to pay for the place where they stay. It's uh, 
discovered. And that's really cool. So we're going to be doing uh, the 20, uh, 12 hour marathon Christmas Eve day. That's Sunday, December 24th. And that'll be from noon until midnight. And we have a lot of guests. Santa comes several times in between his trips. And it's just a ball. We have a great time. So I hope you all can start gearing up for that. And uh, the link to, to donate is inside the bottom of this view. It's givewithtony.com. Just go to givewithtony.com. And it'll take you to the to the marathon. Let me let's just try give with Tony dot com. Should take you right to the place where you need to go. There it is. See, you could start donating now if you feel like it. Every year I set a goal. They keep getting higher. This year I'm going to try to raise again ten thousand. I was lucky to do that last year. That's the part of my ego that gets involved is I like to raise as much money as I can for the families, and I can't do it without your help. So if you visit my website, b3monaco.com, you can uh, inquire about online lessons or my virtual school. You can also help if you feel like donating with a tip. You can do it with your credit card. So there we go. Boy, that used to say different numbers. It all says $100. Oh, my God. How did that happen? Boy, that's optimism, huh? I better go and fix that. <laughs> Let's see what happens when you do this. Can't be all $100, can it? No. See, that's $5. Okay. Go take your check. Just take your check and see which ones they are. Somehow, you know this programming stuff. Isn't that funny? Oh, let's check the rest of them out. Why not? So this one says 100 but it's 10 Hey. Wow, look at that. I bet you this is 25. Let's see. Maybe. Yes, there it is, 25. So don't don't look at the numbers. Just just punch them. Find out which one works for you. And uh, boy, I get surprises on these broadcasts, right? Isn't that great? It's so much fun. Anyhow, uh, I have a special guest. I love teaching and that's why I went to my website. I wanted you to know that teaching has become one of my greatest passions. I love performing, as you can tell. I'm quite the ham, right? <laughs> but I love to also help and teach. So today, it was coincidental that one of my students came. And uh, I teach mostly online, but I'm very blessed to have uh, some local students that come in person. And uh, so what happened is there's this young man, and he's great. He's in college. At OSU and I met him last year when I was doing a clinic there and uh, he, he was playing the organ it just blew me away he's already got a lot of talent from God you know and I believe in all that so but I said hey Ethan his name is Ethan Galbraith I said hey do you want to try to do a little number for me he's young he's got some fire in his soul so I'm going to feature Ethan, and I think he's at in the broadcast now. You could even say hello to him. I, at least I saw him. I know he had something to do. He's on the YouTube. So those of you that are watching on YouTube, say hi to Ethan. But I'm going to let him say hi to you. You're going to get blown away, okay? Are you all ready? All right, here's Ethan Galbraith. Hey, this is, <laughs> hey, I got a special guest for you. This is one of my greatest students, Ethan Galbraith. How you doing, man? Good, good. Hey, play some Donna Lee, will you? Sure. I'm going to get out of the way and let you do your thing. Thank you. 
Everybody, happy holidays. Today's all about family. God bless you. <laughs> wow, right? That's what I said. Wow, wow, wow. Here's a young and upcoming great. So take lessons with me. I don't know that I could teach you as like I taught Ethan because he taught most of it himself. <laughs> but that's my job is to mentor and guide and help. So I really enjoy my job. If you are uh, interested in taking lessons, please visit b3monaco.com and uh, come on out, right? All right, let me get back to some music. Let me play something from the new up-and-coming record. I think you're really going to enjoy it. So this is um, called, uh, uh, I, uh, let me play My Little Rosie. Yeah, this is a tune I wrote about my Late great little cat. We have four, four four cats now. We had five. But she was the girl. We have four boys. And uh, her name was Rosie. So I wrote this song for her actually when she was alive. And she got sick suddenly and died. It was really sad. But I want to play My Little Rosie Girl. I think you're going to enjoy this. <laughs> You're welcome, Ethan. God bless you, man. Thank you, Bruce. Hey, hey, what's going on, man? Thank you. 
girl that's like a latin tune and uh you know she had a little thing about her she's a cool little cat i miss her a lot and uh you know this show today is dedicated to families and like i said at the beginning of the show family doesn't necessarily have to be blood relatives you just be people that are in your network that support you give you uh what you need to be complete not that you need anybody to be complete, but it's nice to have the support around you that makes you 
feel like you're doing something. Speaking of doing something, uh, I plan on broadcasting on Fridays all the way up to Christmas Eve on Sunday when I do the telethon marathon to raise money for the great cause of St. Jude Hospital. And I am looking for people that would like to volunteer to come and entertain. I know Ethan's going to come and do it. He might send me a video. He may want to show up live online. I bring in guests online from all around the world via Zoom. I run a second computer, and I run the video card right in here and broadcast from this place. But I have my guests come, and some of them will be submitting videos for me to play, just like I did with the one with Ethan. He was just here an hour ago. It's a small world, isn't it? Wow. And I'm kind of feeling okay again. I was a little nervous because it's been a long time since I broadcast, and it's hard to believe I did this every day for a couple of years during the pandemic. It seems like yesterday, but then it also seems like forever ago, right? So on the bottom of this broadcast, there's a place. If you're so inclined to feel like generous, you can leave me a tip, and I do greatly appreciate it. And I've been on Luigi. I gave him the misspelling is underneath laughing. Look underneath there. It says tips greatly appreciated. Oops. We're going to get that fixed by the next show. But that doesn't mean you can't hit the button. And don't worry. <laughs> you could do it through PayPal. You can do it through Venmo. You can go to my site and play. Which door are you behind? <laughs> I was very optimistic it looks like. I updated the site today to fix a couple things, and for some reason, all of those got changed. So, I've got work to do. <laughs> that was my little Rosie. And pets are family, too, Bruce. You're absolutely right. And uh, Bruce Wilson is here, my good buddy. You're like family, Bruce. You know that. You and Lisa, wonderful people. Who's out there? Let's look and see. I'm getting comments. From all kinds of people. Wow. Scott Morales is here. How you doing, Scott? Darren. How are you, Darren? Steve from Steve Monreal. How are you, sir? Wow, this is wonderful. I missed all of you guys. It's so good to have you back. Beth Ann Dice. How are you? How's Joe and JoJo? We got to have JoJo as a guest. So let's hook that up. I like to bring them on. I could bring them on via Zoom live during my broadcast. Nonica's here. Nonica, the great Nonica. Wow, that's another phenomenal student, but she's a talent. I, I got this thing I like to talk about. It's it's kind of, I, I, I've learned this because I've been wanting to be a teacher all my life since I had really good teacher. His name was Jim Russell, and he passed away. But when I was 16, my father bought me this B3 right here. Can you imagine? This thing was built in 1955, and here it is, 2023, and it's still going. Imagine a car that was built in 1955, not in the garage, you know, protected and worked on. This thing is worked and played every day. I teach online with this organ every day. My dad bought me this organ, and um, it was interesting. When I went there, he... Um, my dad took me to a music store with the great late Donnie Smathers, who was a saxophone player. And there must have been at least 12 or 13 B3s along one wall. My dad said, pick which one you want. Can you imagine having to choose from 12 mint B3s? So when I bought this in 1976, or when my father did, this thing was already 21 years old. That's amazing how long this must be one of America's Greatest Inventions by one of the greatest inventors, Lawrence Hammond. So I love playing uh, the uh, Hammond B3. And I love playing the new clones, especially the company that I'm part of a family with, the Hammond Suzuki Organ Company. So I'd like to thank you. I got it right behind me here. This is called the SK Pro. And if you don't mind my back, I suppose I could turn it on. And play it. So you, you'll just see my back. 
Should I do it? Well, maybe I should try to set that up for another broadcast, but it sounds wonderful. So, so today's show is dedicated to family. And speaking of family, uh, I just lost my mom uh, about three months ago. And I know many of you have lost your parents. And now both of my parents are gone. So uh, I'm an orphan. They said you re don't realize how that feels until it's really true. And uh, do I work on my B3? No, unfortunately, uh, I know how to do a few things. I put tubes in it when it needs new tubes. I know how to, you know, solder draw bars back to on, you know, when the wires get disconnected, small things like that. But when it comes to really getting it fixed, I use a tech from, he, he became my tech when I started endorsing him and Suzuki, like almost like 20 years ago now. That's a hard to believe. His name is Lonnie Smith of all names. I call him the organ doctor. So not the late great. Dr. Lonnie Smith, but this is Lonnie Smith, the organ doctor in Anderson, Indiana. Oh, yeah, it was sad to lose my mom. Yeah, sure was. But you know, man, life goes on. That's the way it goes. Let's try to do a little real fast thing, and I'll play one of my originals. So this is what I do when I have students that want to take lessons with the MIDI stuff, okay? So I'm going to switch this camera real quick. Don't mind. This is this is was not planned, but it's uh but it is planned. <laughs> Cuz we're going to do it. I want to help my folks and family at the Hammond Suzuki company because they're my family too. And they consider me their family. So what a blessing that is. You see it? That's the you're going to see it better now here in a second. I'll do some things. This is the Hammond, the new Hammond SK Pro, and boy, is it sharp, and it plays like crazy, so I'm going to play a song with you, with it, and let me get this one cable out of the way, so sometimes I have lessons with students that want some MIDI data, and I'm able to give them that by using this and using Logic on my Macintosh, and I can record MIDI data, some people like to see that. Trying to get the, this is the new SK Pro. And man, it sounds good. So I think what I'm going to do is play uh, just a nice standard tune, if you don't mind. And sometimes it's good to have family members, like I said, don't mind my back. But you're going to only see this top, see. But I'm going to play a song called Just Friends. I think that'll be a cool one. How you doing out there? Sorry for the technical change, but you know, man, that's okay. This is reality here. And I, I'm a, I like to consider myself a me, myself, and I operation. So that's, that's the way it's going to go tonight. We even have a cable up here. Let's see if we can fix that. Hey, look at that. Kind of. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for this. But you know what, man? I'm spontaneous. I'm an entertainer. So let's play Just Friends. You're going to love the sound of this, man. Thank you. 
Oh, yeah. Just friends. What an instrument, huh? This is the new Hammond SK X Pro. And a real cool thing about it, for the organ players out there, it's got simulation of multi contact. Hear that? So when you do squabble tunes, you know, it sounds like you're squabbling. And, you know, a lot of the new ones have this multi-contact thing. But, you know, I want to say something. You know, I've been playing a real B3 for many, 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 many years. And the thing about the Hammond B3 that's not predictable is the fact that the contacts change on every note. So it's not the same. So it's random. So what's cool about this is you don't have to pay the heavy price, you know, of trying to get a new multi-contact machine, but rather you can get something more affordable that'll give you the multi-contact feel. So it's kind of cool, right? So let me just play some squabble thing. I think you're going to dig this. So might as well play a, a Christmas song, I guess, huh? Let's see if we can find some brushes. Mm-hmm. We got any brushes? Oh boy. Here we go. Oh yeah, good old swing medium number 10. Thank you. 
an SKX Pro and a little nod to my Hammond family since we're talking about family tonight. So I hope you enjoyed that little demonstration. I haven't played that song since last year. <laughs> that what's what was the name of that song? Chestnuts. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. So like those that like to take lessons with me and have MIDI data because they're more analytical. I can record the MIDI data along with the video data during the lesson, since some people really enjoy that. So, Wow, boy, does the time fly when we're having fun, huh? Let's see what's going on here. Let me adjust this camera, and we'll get back to the normal set, you know. Yeah, look at this. You get pretty good at this when you do it all the time, right? It's like a dentist. They're like a dentist light. Hey, look at that. Got it. <laughs> hey <laughs> yeah I, I really like it i think the sk x pro is really nice so hope you enjoyed that little demonstration let's see let me do uh let me do one of the new tunes from the new album and it was suggested that i did this yesterday but i'll do it again it's called the daddy and i like to write songs uh, this uh, this has come on my upcoming record, and if you feel like supporting that, I really appreciate it. You could actually hear the whole thing. If you go to my website and come down to the bottom here, right here, see? Just go to b3monaco.com, scroll on down, and you can actually become a supporter to uh, help me out with the promotion. That's the big thing. Since we can't sell CDs anymore, Promoting helps me. You can have a link down here if you go right now and get a link to actually hear the recording, you know. So watch this. What's going to be real cool. I'll play a little bit of the daddy. <laughs> that's the actual recording but i'm gonna play it for you live because i took the drum tracks from the great reggie Dra jackson he's one of my soulmate and family in columbus we've known each other and played with uh with each other for a long time uh, on many gigs zach jones on the guitar and um uh, so i had a question am i running the sk through leslie no i was just using the internal simulator sounds pretty good doesn't it pretty nice instrument so you just heard the uh, track but so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna play right along with that because I made a ma mix down without that so let's for the family my friends 
and family members like Reggie Jackson and Zach Jones. This is the Daddy. <laughs> too long. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, it's been a real pleasure, real pleasure performing for you. Don't forget to go to B3Monaco.com. Check out how to help support and listen to all the whole record. And I'll be back next Friday at 5.30 p.m. Eastern. And in the meantime, please love your family. And thank you for being one of my greatest fans. I love you all, and I missed you all, and I can't wait to review all the comments. And uh, I, ca I caught most of them, and I'm glad to see some names that I, I haven't seen in a long time. So it's good to see you guys, and uh, it's been a real pleasure. So God bless you all, and uh, let me uh, take it out with a song I wrote for the great late Pat Martino. It was quite a wonderful thing to tour with him. And uh, so this is called One for Pat. I'll take it out. We'll see you all next week, okay? Here we go. Whoops, wrong song. <laughs> I might need new glasses. <laughs> Let's get it here. Here we go. Thank <laughs> you.
God bless you all. Happy holidays. God's willing. Creek don't rise. We'll see each other next week. God bless you. Thank you.